Well, good morning, friends and family. So, I just, I'm um, going to make a little quick update. Nothing too long. But this is that pumpkin we have been, or squash, but it, we're thinking maybe it's seminal pumpkin or hybrid. Cr something with cross-pollination. Anyhow, this is it. I picked it right before we left for Thanksgiving. And it did have a little bit of this yellowing on the bottom here. Um, so I'm kind of, what I um, was told was they need to cure for about two weeks. So that's what we're doing there. These are all from October, thanks, or for Halloween. Uh, so you can see there's a little comparison for size. Isn't that kind of cool? So that's pretty cool. I cannot wait. About one more week and we'll get on into that. Hey, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. This is Robin, and I just thought we would continue today with um, Remember the Mystery Pumpkin, and uh, it started in May, and it was a single volunteer plant, and it grew all the way across my yard, and um, this was the first pumpkin it put out, or squash, we're not 100% certain. Uh, some have said it is a Seminole Pumpkin or Seminole Pumpkin Cross Hybrid, pollinated with something else. So um, I ended up with 16 altogether of these. This was the, probably the largest one and I'm going to say it's a good two pounds. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe three, but two for sure. This is, um, it's been curing for a good month and uh, if not a little bit more. And so what I'm going to do is try to cut it a little bit and then we're just going to stick it in the oven and then have it for dinner. And while we're at it, um, there's a little butternut squash um, that the vine died a little too soon before it had a good time to develop. But I would thought um, it'd be kind of fun just to stick that in there, see if it's any good. If it's not, it's no loss. So, okay, stick with me. So difficult. Yeah, go down. There you go. Okay. Okay, okay I just got my last little bit here. Oh God. See what this thing looks like. That is so pretty. It smells like a melon on the smell that. Oh, it smells good. really nice. Almost it's almost like, sweet. It is sweet. It smells like, that's why I said melon. It smells like watermelon and cantaloupe. Oh my gosh. Maybe it mated with a cantaloupe. It didn't mate with a cantaloupe. <laughs> or a watermelon. But look at that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We're still in the mystery, but that, it does smell kind of like fruit. I'll give it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. This is one delicious dinner. We got some chicken, thighs. We got some noodles. We got. We got. Is that all? We have. We, oh no, I want to do southern. Got. We have some butternut squash that what, ripened too early and the vine died early, sorry. And then uh, we have something, it kind of looks like a buttercup squash. It tastes like a sweet potato. It's delicious. So we're kind of dressing it like a sweet potato. And... Or a Seminole pumpkin. I don't know what Seminole pumpkin tastes like. But there you go. That's dinner.